Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to create this automation project with Python. This project will automate both Microsoft Excel as well as Word. And what we're going to do is we have tons of data about students. So here you have the student name, the course they completed, the date they completed it, and the instructor name. And what we're going to do is we're going to generate certificates for every single student based on their course and their name. So this is going to be very fast in a very automated way. And this is going to give you an idea of how you can automate things with Python on your own machine. So if you take a look here, you can see this is our certificate template. What it does is it certifies that the name of this person has completed the course on date with this instructor. Then what we do is we will run the script in Python. It will generate 30 different Word documents with each document being a certificate. And then if you open up these certificates, you can see that the values have been filled in. So you can see this one certifies that Benjamin has completed this course, Introduction to AI, on this date with this instructor. And you can open up literally any of these and you can see that the correct information has been filled out. So this is Elizabeth Lee. She has completed this course on this date with this instructor. So super easy, super simple. Let's build this and let's read all this data from Excel, generate 30 different certificates in very few lines of code in Python. Without further ado, let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to talk about our project structure. So here we have this folder. In my case, I named the folder Excel sheet to Word documents. You can name this whatever you want. Inside the folder, we're going to have the student data Excel sheet, which is going to be this Excel sheet with all the data that we have. The other thing is going to be the template. So I'll talk a bit more about the template in just a second, but basically this is how it looks like. And it's going to be inside this folder. And the third and final file in this folder is our main.py file. This is where we're going to write our code for the Python project. Now you can see here these two files as well, but this is only because the Excel sheet and the Word document are both open on my machine. Therefore, VS Code shows it to us like this. Also, I am using VS Code, but you can use any editor that you like, so long as you're able to run Python and that you're comfortable with it. All right, so how does our starter code look like? Here we have some imports. We're importing OpenPy Excel. This is going to be the library that we're going to use to actually talk to Excel and read from the Excel file. The other thing is docs.tpl. This is what we're going to use to generate Word documents based on a template. Finally, I'm importing date time. You'll see why as we go through the project. Now, the first thing you need to do is you need to actually install both OpenPy Excel and Docs TPL. To do that, you just have to pull up a terminal. Here, I'm using the integrated terminal in VS Code. You can use any terminal. You can use the regular, regular old CMD on your machine. Now, I'm just going to say pip install OpenPy Excel and docs tpl you should press enter and these two libraries should install i'm not going to do this because i already have them installed but in your case just wait a couple minutes and you should be good to go all right going back to our code let's see what we have so here we have the imports as i already talked about now the first thing we want to do is we want to read the information from the excel sheet so let's totally forget about word for now forget about the template forget about the certificate we just want to read the information from excel now to do that, it's very simple with OpenPy Excel. To do that, simply here's what I need to do. First things first is I need to specify the path. This is going to be the path to my Excel file. So in this case, this is my path. Make sure you replace this with your own path to your own file. All right, we've specified the path. Next thing is we use OpenPy Excel to load the workbook. So we say OpenPy Excel dot load underscore workbook and we pass the path here. This should open up the Excel workbook that we have, which is this file that I have showed you countless times by now. All right, you opened up the workbook. Next thing is you want to access the sheet that you have in your file. So if you take a look at the workbook, you can see here you can have multiple sheets. This is just how Excel usually works. In our case, we only have one sheet. So what we're going to do is we're going to access this sheet. To access it, it's pretty simple. You just say sheet is equal to workbook.active. So active means what sheet is currently open in your workbook. All right, we have the sheet, we've loaded everything. What we want to do next is to actually get the data. To get the data, it's very simple. It's one line of code. You just say sheet.values, and I'm converting this into a Python list. So you can see here, I say list sheet.values, and I save this in a variable called list values. If you want to print it to see what we have, let's just say print list values, and let's run our program to see what it does so far. So running it, 
let's just wait a second there you go you can see this is all our data taken from the excel sheet and loaded in python you can see here we have our headers participant name course name completion date and instructor name the other thing is you have tuples of all of our data so you can see here john doe he took this course intro to python this is the date and time in which he took the course and he took it with the instructor alice johnson this is dummy data i got all of this from chat gpt so what i did is i asked chat gpt give me some dummy data for the course name course instructor and things like that and then it generated all of that for me so none of this is real these courses don't exist and these people don't exist all right, so you can see all of our data is inside these different tuples. This is how we're going to be accessing it. All right, so we have our data and we've pulled it up. We've loaded everything from Excel. What we want to do next is actually put everything in the Word documents. So let's go back and take a look at our template. So the way Docs TPL, this Python library, the way it works is you take a document template so this is going to be a document that you have. It's a standard template. I have a previous video where we generated invoices based on a document template. So you had customers, they would buy stuff and you would generate invoices. In this case, we have this certificate template. So I'm just going to zoom out a little and you can see this is the certificate. You can look here, you can see the title is course completion certificate. By the way, this is a template provided by Word. So if you go inside the Microsoft Office templates and you search certificate, you can find this there. I just tweaked a few things and that's really it, but it will be available in the GitHub. All right, so course completion certificate. And we say this certifies that name has successfully completed the course on everything else. All right, so what is this syntax right here? For docs TPL to work, you need to specify certain syntax in your document template. So you can't just say this certifies and leaves it, leave it blank. You need to specify name. And then here you put these curly brackets around it, two pairs of curly brackets around it. Now, why do we say this? It's very similar of how you would use variables in programming. So here, what we're going to do is we're going to take the name from the Excel sheet, put it in place of the name here, and then we will be able to generate the template. So it's super simple, super easy. So here's what we specify. We have four different variables. First variable is name. So we say here name and we put the curly brackets and we say has successfully completed the course. And in this case, we have course between curly brackets. So this is where the course name is going to go on. And then here we have the date between brackets. And finally, we have here the instructor. So let's say it's signed by the instructor. So you have instructor between curly brackets and we're reusing the same variable both places. And finally here, I just put this as a dummy value um, to have it signed by someone else. Let's say it's the CEO of whatever company this is. So this is totally fake, um, but I'm ju I just did this for the template. All right, so this is our template. Now what we need to do is we need to take the information that we gathered from Excel and basically fill it out in each of these documents with different va values. First things first, here's what we do. So we say doc is equal to docs template. So this docs template object, this comes from the docs TPL library. And in this case, we say certificate.docs. So here you need to pass the name of your document template. In this case, it's certificate.docs in my case. All right, so I created my docs template object. The next thing I want to do is I'm going to loop over the values of the list. This is the values that we got from Excel. To loop over them, I say for value tuple in list values, and I slice it from one until the end. So why do I do this? The reason is if we go back here and we look at how our list looks, you can see that the first tuple is just the header. So obviously I don't want to generate a document with just the participant, the word participant name on the name. I just want John Doe, Jane Doe, and so on. So we're just going to skip over this first one. And this is why we slice starting from one until the end. All right. Now I'm slicing it. I have each value tuple. Now I want to write each value tuple into my document. To do that, I use something called doc.render. So this is a function provided by the docs TPL library for the docs template object. So here I say doc.render and I pass a Python dict here. All right, I've passed the Python dict, but what information should I put inside it? First things first, we're going to say name is going to be equal to the value tuple sub zero. What this means is the name variable. So the name that we specified here, so this is name. So name is going to go here and the value for it is going to be value tuple sub zero. So pulling up our data again, let's say this John Doe, 
Here, this is our value tuple. Value tuple sub zero is just going to be the name John Doe, the first value. And then value tuple sub one is going to be introduction to Python. Okay, so I specified the name. Next thing, I want to specify the course. So I say the course is equal to value tuple sub one, and I do the same thing for the date and the instructor. So basically, I took all the information from my Excel sheet put it into this list of tuples, then I looped over the tuples and each tuple I put it in the respective variable or the respective value. All right, so I rendered the document. The last step I need to do is I need to save this document. So to save it, first things first, you have to give it a name. If you don't give it a name, it's going to save in place of the template and we don't want that. We want different documents, we want many certificates. So first thing we say, the doc name is going to be equal to certificate plus value tuple sub zero. So in this case, the name of the person plus the name of the course dot docs. And finally, we just say doc dot save doc name. So now I'm going to run it and see how our program works. Let's run it. And as you can see, this got printed and we got a bunch of documents that were generated here. So let's take a look at what these documents look like. So going back here, this is my folder. This is where we're working. These are all the generated documents that were just generated at 10.41 a.m. You can see the time. So let's check this one. So this says certificate Amanda Smith machine learning. So opening it, as you can see, this says this certifies that Amanda Smith has completed the course machine learning fundamentals on this date and it was signed by this instructor. So all the information was filled in into the right places and you can check any of these documents. So going back here, you can check this one, John Doe, for example, um, it has the date, introduction to Python and the instructor, Alice Johnson. You can check as many of these as you want, but basically all of them will have been filled out using our code. So this is a great Python project. It helps you automate two things. You can automate both reading from Excel and writing and generating these documents based on a certain template. If you run a course, this can be a great way to generate certificates. If you have thousands of students, you can just run this and have thousands of certificates generated as well. You can do this for invoices. Like I mentioned, I have in a separate video. All right. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.